Hey, I hope you're doing very, 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 very well. Today, you guys are gonna meet my new friend. Her name is Lenore. Um, she is kind of dumb. She fell just a second ago because she has, I have discovered she has zero depth perception and she's kind of an idiot and she'll just walk right off my arm. So, um, I was kind of just chilling on the front porch with her and smoking and I thought it would make a fun video. So I, I know you get, I told you guys I got a toad. I found a toad in my yard and I decided to keep her. Um, sorry, it's the 4th of July and there are a bunch of people setting off fireworks. So it's part of ASMR, right? Popping uh, stuff. So I figured that we could just hang with Lenore and smoke and listen to fireworks. Murka. So I, yeah, so anyway, I have a toad, so I have to buy uh, live crickets pretty regularly because she's a badass and eats a lot. Um, so I was waiting on the pet person to get me crickets because you can't get them yourself. And for some reason, I guess they don't want crickets going everywhere. And uh, you dumb bitch, don't walk off my arm again. Um, yeah, so I was looking around. What are you doing? And uh, I saw her and she is a skeleton leg tarantula. And I was asking the pet people about her and they said she eats the same small crickets that I was buying for my toad, only she only eats like two a week. So it's like nothing. Um, I'm pretty sure that she prioritizes sleep over absolutely everything else. Um, but I, I've been thinking about getting a tarantula for a while. Uh, she has really, really cute little toes. I don't know if you can see them. Um, she hasn't bitten me yet. I don't know if she ever will. I read that like you get all sorts of warning signs before they'll actually bite you. Like they'll rear up and let you know they're pissed. You have to pretty much try to squish them for them to bite you. Uh, and uh, a lot of the times when they bite you, it won't even break the skin. So she's, she's a cutie. Um, I think she's cute. She's sweet. She sleeps all the time. She'll walk around a little bit, but then she like hunkers down and sleeps. But now I have a toad and a spider. So like my sister said, I'm well on my way to becoming a real witch, which uh, is not the plan. I just uh, really, really like bugs and I like finding them in the yard. And there you go. And she's just kind of like a super cool bug that's around all the time. And I had no freaking idea that she would live as long as she will, um, hopefully. They said that, <laughs> I, I looked online and they have like a 15 year lifespan. So this is like getting a small dog. But she's a sweetie. Um, and really low maintenance. She doesn't need a heat lamp or anything. She just needs like a bowl of water and then stick a couple crickets in every once in a while. I'm trying to get her used to being handled a lot because I want to handle her a lot. So, yeah, she's pretty cool. And 
seemingly kind of dumb, but it might, she's a little kid. She, I doubt they held on to her very long after they bred her before she went to the pet store, so she'll learn. Maybe she'll get some gray hairs in her advanced age. I, mean, I still would have gotten her if I knew she lived 15 years, but it just seems like a really long time. I guess we'll see. The total only lives like five years, and I have no idea how old she was when I found her, so who knows. But she has, surprise, eight, eight legs, eight eyes. But she has two very prominent, oh my god, you idiot two very prominent uh, feelers, which kind of look like legs. So it kind of looks like she has 10 legs, but. See, those, those aren't technically legs, but they definitely look like them to me. But she's pretty cool. Or don't do it again. Yeah, she fell earlier and she landed on her back and was just flailing around. I had to help her turn over. But we got her now. Keep waiting for her to like lunge in my face. She hasn't yet. We'll see. Hmm. But, yeah, now I have four dogs, two of which are pugs, a toad, and a tarantula. I don't know if she really counts as a pet since she's so low maintenance. Actually, the crickets are like higher maintenance than she is. not a good idea. People like America too much. Too much celebrating. Smoking Chesterfields. I had to refill my lighter before filming this because I lit off too many fireworks. And it got used up. Like I said, she doesn't like to walk around very much. She's pretty lazy. I might crack her out for a live stream sometime. If you guys like her. Lenore. She doesn't answer to her name. See, she's stupid. But I thought it was kind of cool that she's a skeleton leg tarantula because she kind of has those markings on her um, legs, which makes her look skeletal, which is cool because I love Halloween. This is what America sounds like on the 4th of July. My dogs are super pissed. Anyway, let's just chill for a little bit. I'm gonna stop talking and just smoke. And yeah, she might fall again. She has the best grip on me.
Mm-mm. Uh-oh. There you go. No. It's not gonna work. What are you doing? Why are you so angry? This is walking around on my abdomen. What you gonna do? I don't know if smoke chills her out or not, like it does with bees. Um, but she doesn't seem to care about it. Mm -mm. She's getting better at flipping over. She's just sitting on my leg. I would guess she's like four inches long. They said females can grow up to six inches, so she'll probably get bigger. July. So, something really big happened, actually, like, a week ago. There's this radio show that I listen to every day, all the time. Uh, it's called 
Rover's Morning Glory, and they're based out of Cleveland. Um, they've come down through Louisville twice for like meet and greets, and I've met them both times. Um, but they have a they're syndicated all over the U.S. I think they they have stations in New York and Florida and. They used to be in Louisville, but they're not anymore, but they still have a lot of people who listen to them. And I, I've so I've been listening to them for like eight years. And uh, I've always wanted a reason to call in. And the other day, on the, I think on Tuesday, which was the last day of the month, they were talking about fetishes. And I was like, oh, hell yes, this is something I can talk about. And so I called in, and I know there are people who try to call in forever and never, like, get on the air and never get really through, so I wasn't really expecting anything, but, um, I got put on hold, and then Rover was like, Rover's the main guy who talks on the show, Rover's Morning Glory, he was like, hey, uh, have, have line five call back after the next segment, because they have this, like, Tech Tuesday thing where they they talk to a technology expert every Tuesday and I was like okay well I'm gonna get it cut off by that and that's cool so whatever and he was like have la line five stay on and so the phone screener came over and was like hey and I was like am I line five and he was like yeah and he was like well we're gonna can you call back after the segment and he was like wait actually I'll call you back and so they called me back after the segment and they pretty much interviewed me for like 15 minutes and it was amazing because I've always wanted to be on that show. Um, I've always wanted to talk to them and have any kind of relevant reason to call in. So uh, I called in really talking about uh, you guys and the YouTube channel and it was just really, really neat. It was like two and a half hours into the show. Um, I think they have a, yeah, they have a pretty long show every day. Um, but I was, I was just really, really happy to be on and talk to them. So that was amazing and super neat. So if you guys see anyone who's like, hey, I'm here from RMG, that's what it's from. It's because I called into a radio show, like a dork. Um, but I just, I love that show so much, I don't even care. So that was fun. It made my month. I was on cloud nine for like the rest of the day. I still kind of am. I think it went okay. Um, yeah, I talked about leather and smoke fetishes. And then uh, one of the guys on the show, his girlfriend listens to ASMR like every night. So afterwards she messaged me and mentioned like wanting me to do like a head scratch, like hair brushing video on her. And I was like, hell yeah, like I'll drive to Cleveland for that. That'd be awesome. But I don't know if that's going to come to flourishing or not, but the idea is nice. She's just hunkered down. I think she's just going to rest there. She had a big couple of minutes walking around. I guess insects don't like to, it's, are spiders and insects? No, uh, she's an arachnid. I guess arachnids don't really enjoy using that much energy. I guess that's why she doesn't eat that much. You wanna come on my hand again? Yeah, you probably should. There we go. See your pretty little face. Oh, now you're gonna hunker down, really hunker down and sleep. Okay, well, you can't have both of my hands if you do that. 
move to one. There you go. Yeah, she kind of like brings her legs in like that when she's gonna sleep. Little fat butt. It's weird feeling like weight, the weight of her and knowing it's all from one spider. It's a lot. You wanna go on my shoulder? She says, no, I'm gonna fall again. Fine. You want to? She has this like little furrowed brow, which just always makes her look pissed. I don't think you're mad though. She just kind of looks mad. Mm, see, can you see her little furrowed brow? Yeah. The other day I showed her like a picture of herself and she got pissed because she thought it was another spider. I guess they're not very um, group friendly. Pack friendly because you don't really have packs of tarantulas. Maybe I'll bring her out on Halloween and really scare the kids. She'd be like, I feel exploited. Okay, one more cigarette. Oh, do not fall. She says, that was your fault. I have conversations with you, who's a camera, and I have conversations with my spider. You look so pissed. You don't want to switch hands. I have to switch hands. They said she's not very webby. Like, she doesn't make a lot of webs. Um, she might make a tunnel for, like, a house. Oh, and I got this, like, this human skull for her tank. Um, that's a big hole in the back. I thought it'd be kind of cool if she made a web in it or next to it, but she's been doing a lot of nothing. And I think Winifred, the toad, is getting kind of jealous because Winifred like legit likes to be held, but I don't think Lenore cares one way or another. She can take me or leave me. She kind of admire.
on my shoulder? No? You don't want anything? Yeah, this is kind of like having a cat. She doesn't give two craps about me. there. Go up there. Just go up there. We'll be fine. There we go. She's good. You feel her little toes. The spider toes. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm not much of a cat person, but I buy cat treats for the stray cats out here. So when I got her, I bought her, all of her accoutrement and cat treats. So I looked like a real crazy person. That's it. We got Lenore. I'm gonna go put her up. She seems like she wants to sleep. I'll see you next time. Bye.